Hi, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at percent problems. So we have 18 is 15 percent of what number? And the way I want to approach these two problems is by using this what I call the math translator. There are certain key words in a math problem, whether it be a word problem or a quick problem like this, that you want to associate with an equation. For instance, we have 18, so we can start by writing our equation 18, but now we see the word is, and in math, is means equals. So we have 18 equals 15%. Now remember, percent means out of 100. So we can say 15 out of 100. And now 15% of, the word of means multiply in math. So we use that part of our translator to associate of with multiplication. And now what number? Well, whenever we have some unknown what number, we could always just call that x. So now we translate 18 is 15% of what number to 18 equals 15 over 100 times x. And now to solve for x, all we need to do is divide both sides by 15 over 100. And now on the right hand side, 15 over 100 divided by 15 over 100 will cancel. And now all we're left with is x, so we have x equals and now to divide by fractions, I'll use that keep change flip technique, meaning we're going to keep the numerator 18. We're going to change this operation to multiplication. And we're going to flip the fraction in the denominator to 100 over 15. And I'll write this as 18 divided by 1 to illustrate the multiplication of fractions. So now we have that x is equal to 18 times 100 is 1800 divided by 15 and now 1800 divided by 15 is 120 so our answer to the first problem is 120 so now once again we're going to use this math translator to answer the second question what percent of 68 is 51 well we have what percent we have a mystery we have an unknown so what percent we're going to call x so x so what percent of, remember of means multiply, so x times 68 is, remember is means equals, so we can set this equal to 51. So now to solve for x, all we need to do is divide both sides by 68. So now on the left hand side, 68 divided by 68 will cancel, and we have x is equal to 51 over 68. But now to turn this into a percent, we could punch this into a calculator or we could reduce this fraction and it might be more obvious. Notice how 51 and 68 have a common factor of 17. So if we do 51 divided by 17, we get 3. And if we do 68 divided by 17, we get 4. So this fraction will reduce to 3 fourths. And now 3 fourths as a percent is simply 75%. You could think that three quarters is equal to 75 cents, which would translate in terms of percent as 75 percent. So this is how we could use the math translator to answer these two percent problems. Okay, well this is going to conclude this percent problem video. Thank you all for watching and I hope that this was helpful.